Johnny and Brookie are great girls. Uh, they got great music. Uh, I like listening to it and singing it out loud. Their music's different from ours because they have a girl singer. Uh, well, that, I noticed that. Yeah, that's probably what you would notice when you first listen to it, but it's, it's kind of like that girl power thing. They're a lot of fun to hang out with. You know, they keep the room awake and alive. They're so much fun. <laughs> Anytime they're around, there's nothing boring happening. They're just, this is energy over here, over here, over here. They're just constantly going. There's so many inside jokes with each other and what they're teasing each other about that, you know, I don't even know if they know what they are. I was so excited to actually meet Johnny and Brookie because I'd heard so much about them from Mission 6. Once I got to meet them, I realized that they're really down to earth. They're just like the rest of us, you know? You know, they're hooking us up, you know, with some Twitter tips. They're big Twitterers. We Twitter a lot to each other. That's like our main way of contact. <laughs> they're all like giving me advice on what to tweet about. It's a fun word, tweet. We steal each other's clothes without knowing, but we don't care. Johnny and Brookie are really sweet. They're very, very talented. I'm really impressed just that they can have like such a pop influence, but be sharing God's love. They understand who their audience is, who they're reaching to and care about them. When you watch them live, you can tell that it's authentic. I mean, they just, and not just from a ministry standpoint, but they just are so comfortable as musicians and as artists. It's, it's really great to watch them. Mm -hmm.